Hi, it's Larry here of Xbox Live's Major Nelson here with Richard Irving from the Xbox Engineering Team. Richard, thanks for joining us. Always great to be here. Now, this month, we've got a lot to talk about, but we're kind of doing something a little different, right? That's right. Uh, so this month, we're going to talk about all that's new in the world of Xbox. And so we're going to hit on things that cover both the console and the Xbox app for Windows 10. All right, let's roll up our sleeves and get right into it. What do we have first up? Uh, well, first up is a bunch of great new stuff that's going into preview for the Xbox app on uh, Windows 10. Okay. And so this month, we are making available a game DVR recording. Now, Richard, we announced this in January, but here it is shipping. What are some of the features that people are going to see in the app? As we announced in January, we're adding a feature called the Game Bar. Yep, I can see it right here. And you hit Windows G, and that will pop up this piece of UI that gives you the option to do what we call a historical recording. Okay. Console fans will know that as Xbox Record That, so record the last 30 seconds of play. Right. Uh, you'll be able to take a screenshot of what's currently on the screen, okay. or you'll be able to manually start and stop recording right from that game. Bar. Now, I noticed here in the app, there's all, there's a lot more granular settings that, that, that we're providing folks. There's a very diverse set of hardware out there that we have to support on PCs. And our goal is to give you these great features without impacting the performance of your game. Game DVR and game screenshots coming uh, in, the, in the Xbox app. That's awesome. There's also some other cool stuff that we, you guys tucked in there, right? That's right. Uh, so this month, we're releasing to preview a standalone avatar app that will be available in the Windows Store. And in that app, you'll get all the customization features that you've come to expect with your avatar, different noses, eyes, hairstyles, as well as the full closet of standard items and access to the items that you've purchased on your Xbox 360. Now let's talk about user profiles. There's some differences here as well. So we've updated the layout and the UI of the user profile in the Xbox app to include more of the things that you expect based on your Xbox One experience. So you'll be able to see now yours and your friends, bio, location, reputation, and tenure. But even cooler than that is you'll also be able to see the showcase as you've configured it. Uh, and additionally, we've added your animated avatar mm -hmm. if you've created one. We've added your animated avatar to your user profile display as well. That's great. Now let's talk about real name sharing. You, you guys did some really interesting things there. That's right. So on Xbox One, over the past year, we've implemented a variety of settings for sharing your real name with just specific friends that you choose. Or in March, you'll remember we added the ability to share with everybody on Xbox Live. Right. Uh, and we've added that level of customization via the Xbox app on Windows 10 as well. Richard, it looks like we're bringing more smart glass features to the Xbox app as well, right? We've uh, added the now playing bar that gives you access to the media controls when you're, say, watching a movie or a TV show mm -hmm. uh, on your Xbox One. You'll be able to control that from the Xbox app. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, perhaps even cooler than that is we're adding the ability to stream live TV to the Xbox app, which is also available on the smart glass app right now. A lot of stuff coming to the Xbox app on Windows 10. Richard, thanks for that wrap up there. Let's turn our attention to Xbox One. We have some cool features coming there as well, including this top requested fan feature. What is it, Richard? So we're adding the ability to power your console on and off yep. directly from Smart Glass. Mm -hmm. um, and so what that means is when you want to stream TV, uh, you'll be able to just open up the Smart Glass app, power on your console and start streaming directly uh, to that device. That is awesome. Also, another highly requested feature, Miracast coming to Xbox One. That's right. So this month we are releasing the wireless display app. Uh, which will allow you to stream unprotected content from a variety of Windows PCs, Windows Phone, and Android devices. So that includes any content that you have there, whether it's video or anything else, you can just kind of project your display right up into the into your living room. Yes, as long as it's unprotected content. That is awesome. Richard, thank you so much for giving us this, this wrap up this month. Uh, thank you for stopping by. For more information, head over to news.xbox.com or my blog at majornelson.com. Richard, thanks for joining us. Thank you.